It doesn't matter what you're doing. Even if you're making a million dollars a day, you still want a better life. You still want to improve whatever it is you're doing. If you live in India or if you live in America, if you live in, in Iraq or if you live in Canada, right? You always are thriving for a better life. And for in order for you to better your life, you need a higher level of skills. Until now, the traditional school system has had a monopoly on providing skills. And that is the safe route of go to school, get a degree, get a job, retire at 65. In that 25 to 45 years of working, you're contributing towards your 401k. Hopefully you don't live beyond 80, 85. Otherwise your 401k will probably run out and then you're fucked, right? So that's kind of really the, that's really the, 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 the traditional system that has been built. Mm. But over the last couple of decades, there has been new ways. People are becoming aware that there are new ways. And this is where, you know, programs uh, like we offer come into place. But to go back to why they make it normal and it's okay for you to get a loan to start a, uh, to go to school and get a job, but not get a loan to start a business is a great fucking question. Because that's the thing that I'm always yeah. telling people. It's like, dude, you like you won't get a fucking credit card. They will give you a credit card so you can go and buy a Louis bag or buy, you know, go to dinner and spend money on, on shit that you can't probably afford, right? But then they won't give you a loan yeah. to start a fucking business that could produce cash flow, which you can, you, you can employ yeah. people. You can improve other people's lives. You can improve your life. You could do all that stuff. So yeah, it is it is definitely a fucked system and it's rigged against people, in my opinion. Oh fuck, is it ever, dude? Um, you know where I realized that the system's rigged? I realized it when I was refinancing mortgages for Wells Fargo. Mm. So straight out of college, the first job I had was during the financial recession when the housing market crashed in like 08, 09, 2010, like around there. Yeah. Okay, that's when I graduated my my business degree in the States. And I got to work in the States for a year on a green card. And I was like, oh, fuck, I'm going to go work at the bank because like I'm brainwashed by school. I think that's where I need to go. And I just have this vision of like, you know, if you guys seen the, the, the show, the suits or billions or any of these like HBO shows, it's like, dude, I'm going to be that guy, right? It's like the second I walk into that bank, for sure, I'm going to be the CEO like the day I get there. And I'm going to have like a $10,000 suit on and a Rolex and I'm going to roll up in a fucking Benz. For sure, that's what's going to happen the first day. Like that's how school got me fucking thinking. I'm serious. And I got there and I was like in a warehouse with papers stacked around me and we were refinancing loans for people for their mortgages. But the direction that the bank was giving us was deny. I was like, wait a minute. These people are coming to us because they need to refinance because the fucking market crashed and they're fucked. Their families are fucked. They're getting kicked out of their house. Everything's terrible for them right now. They're coming to us for help. We're a bank. We're the people who gave them the loan to start with. We wrote them the shitty loan, okay? They come to us and they're like, hey, excuse me, Mr. Bank. Can you guys help us like fix this loan agreement because it's hard to make this payment right now? Can we get a bit of lenience here? Spread it out a little bit, play with it a bit. And the direction the bank gave us was deny everybody unless it's like the perfect application. And even then it has to go to upper management to get cleared. When they told us that in this giant warehouse, I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? We're not here to help anybody. We're screwing them over. And that's when I realized the banking system was completely rigged and fucking jacked against the person. So I quit. I didn't work there anymore. And to go further into the school analogy, when I was at school, I was lucky enough to be on a scholarship. I have tons of friends that were paying out their ass to go to that school, right? It's a great school. It's an amazing school. It's a long institution. It's, it's a very well-established place. Yeah, I had a great experience. The teachers were nice. It's all good. But people were paying tens of thousands of dollars a semester. And now they have this loan to pay off at the end. Then they go get a job that pays them almost nothing. I just, I couldn't put the pieces together. You know what I mean? That's why I moved out and I was like, dude, I'm leaving like North America thinking maybe Singapore or Asia or something would be a different corporate space. Come to find out it's even more ruthless over there. <laughs> Well, see, the thing is, yeah. is that that's promoted to be the safe way, 
right? And then yeah, you had not. people 20 years later trying to still pay off the same fucking loan that they got 20 fucking years ago that got them the shitty job that they now hate, right? And working for probably some, you know, worthless piece of shit that doesn't give a shit that tells them deny every single fucking application because we're really not here to help people. We're here to screw them over, right? And that's the thing that, um, that boggles my mind because, like, when I hear people saying, well, I'm going to school because... You know, I want to have a safety net. I want to have something to fall back on. It's like, dude, you're fucking yourself right now. Yeah. And you just don't realize it. Hard. But it's like, yeah. society has injected in our brain for decades now that it's okay to bend backwards and go get a loan or spend tens of thousands of dollars on a degree that is pretty fucking useless. I was hanging out with a friend um, a couple of nights ago. And he's just paying for his sister, who he brought her from Turkey to here. That's where they live. And he just paid 40 grand for her to learn to learn marketing, to get a, a, a marketing degree. And I'm just looking at him like, dude, you have almost a million followers on Instagram. You've got an incredible marketing team in-house. Bring her to your fucking marketing team and teach her this shit, you know? <laughs> like, there is, there is thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollar courses out there. That she can take and learn in 30 days more than she can in four years of college. Shit that's actually fucking relevant today. Not stuff that was relevant 35 years ago. You know? 100%. Uh, I think Julius Caesar said something about experience is the teacher of everything. Yes. So it's like this chick is going to school now where she could just jump into your buddy's business and just jump in the trenches. You know, how many people have we seen come into the, the student body who's never been an entrepreneur, never been online. I remember back in the day, there was a guy that you helped him set up his computer. Remember that? Yeah. Like you helped them log in and like, well, how does the windows start? And it's like, you know, install this driver and like back. Remember that? Like we got people like that <laughs> starting businesses and succeeding. Meanwhile, it's like, no, no, you got to go for four fucking years of your life. And keep going to these classes and stuff. Again, I enjoyed school, okay? But I wasn't there to learn. I was there to enjoy myself. That's what I did. Partied, had fun, great experiences. Did I learn anything? Very fucking little. Very little. I didn't do any homework. I didn't read the books. And I think I'm a normal case in college. Like, I think I'm a normal... We all did that. You know what I mean? So, I, I think with technology now, there's so many different avenues people can take. Again, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, this kind of stuff, of course, you need to go to school and get certain degrees. But if you're looking to, you know, have time freedom, work on your own time schedule, create the business lifestyle that you want, maybe get into something that you enjoy more than just something you have to do. There's other ways, you know, and I just, I think the, the, the self-taught or better yet taught through a community or a program, that's obviously the future. Like, do you know any kids nowadays like TikTok? Think of like a 15 year old kid on TikTok right now. Like, are they thinking like, oh man, I can't wait to go to university. <laughs> no, they're thinking, how can I monetize my 300 followers, right? How can I launch this little product thingy-majigger and do something? Like, that's what they're thinking. It's clearly the future.